This is the 37 QB Bighorn Silverado Edition, which is the best selling of the Silverado Edition family. Um, hydraulic front landing gear, standard through this model. Something new they just started doing this year is instead of those little clips, they have, that's just a little magnet up there, and the door sticks up magnetically. It takes about a 35 to 40 mile an hour wind gust to pull that down, which is a pretty hefty wind. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but we have an outside TV hookup here. Um, full, giant uh, pass-through storage. You notice they add a little bit of lighting to it up there, which is handy. Um, the other side of the trailer, in, under that wall right there, is the uh, docking station, all-in-one docking station. Um, you see they use full-size tires on these aluminum rims. Um, these are radials. You know, we, we try to carry things that have nicer rubber under them here. This is a black tank flush, so you can uh, keep the uh, you know particulate and debris from building up within your tank. We added the outside kitchen option to this one, which is really slick. You see the uh, you know you've got your uh, burners here for like your beans and whatnot. Um, you have what I like to refer to as Dad's medicine cabinet. <laughs> Apologize for the noise. We're in the shop because it's a little cold outside today. And there's another TV hookup out here, which is really slick, so you can have TVs going inside and outside. Let me step into the coach real quick here. The uh, This guy right here is a high to bed sleeper sofa. In bunk models, rather than the freestanding table, we like the dinette because it gives you that extra sleeping space. You notice it has the, uh, the recessed halogen lights up here. They don't stick down real far. You don't worry about clocking your head on them. The, uh, the nice high end night shades all the way through. Um, it they, they add a lot more privacy to your trailer, plus these windows have about an 80% tint anyway, so most of the time folks can't see through to begin with. Um, residential uh, ceiling fan and light, and this, uh, you can't really get an appreciation for just in an image, but this is a larger fridge than standard in this class. Standard is 6, this is an 8, and you notice these are all hardwood cabinets. You can really give them heck and they hold right up. All hidden hinge cabinetry, mortise and tenon residential grade cabinetry. Very high end stuff. Um, this is featuring the uh, LG countertop, which is basically what's replacing Corian. It is true hard surface. And you see the stainless steel sink. In case you're wondering, this pink stuff, that's just antifreeze. We have them all winterized, winterized right now. Um, <clears throat> it's becoming more common, but it's still worth mentioning. Full steel ball bearing drawer guides. And you notice that this isn't like particle board with a wrap. This is true plywood. This is real wood building your drawers. Um, your, your cabinets, this is all real wood. It's lumber core. Um, you know, it is, it's pocket screwed and grooved. It, again, it's, it's not cheap particle board construction. Back here in the bunkhouse, um, when you have the outside kitchen option, it pushes that front bunk forward. So during the day, you can fold that up to have it out of the way. Um, nothing but storage back here. Let me open a couple of these up so you can kind of get an appreciation for it. You can see how, how large these are. You can put a lot of coats and shirts and everything back in here. And you figure you could sleep a couple folks back in this area. During the day, this top bunk folds up. You can just lock it in place so that you can use this lower bunk area almost like a... Uh, a, you know a sofa and kind of create a, a second living room effect um, with a big flat screen here you can't really see how deep this is so I'll stick my hand in there but it goes clear up to my elbow so you have lots of room for things like DVD players and if the kids want to bring an Xbox or what have you <clears throat> um, frontal entertainment system here the TVs on a, uh, a pivot so you can angle it whichever direction you'd like and now these are becoming more and more common. Your fireplaces aren't just for show. Um, they are, they're not a gas, but an electric heater. So it's like an electric space heater in your living room. It's really nice to keep things toasty in here on a cold rainy day. Um, you notice that there's power outlets down here, down here. There's power outlets all over the place. And my favorite one is hiding right back here behind the sofa. It's perfect for things like charging your iPad or your laptop or your cell phone. You know, you can put them anywhere and have them at hand all the time. Um, Genesis Technologies AM, FM, CD, DVD player, um, auxiliary inputs, uh, I think the, the, no, this one has Bluetooth, this does everything. You can pretty much, you could hook your smartphone up to this and stream Pandora through your camper if you wanted to, or listen to music, all kinds of fun stuff you can do there. Little things I like that I see, 
like your uh, your awning light switch they put right there so you can stand outside flick it on you don't have to go in and out of your camper <clears throat> this is a good spot to show you you have the uh, the two uh, pass-through doors through the bathroom um, up here in the, in the bedroom so you've got the the bed in the full slide this is a hydraulic slide it goes in and out extremely quickly you've got your your full um, front wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe and then this vented closet right here is set up for a washer dryer now you can put a stackable in this when you do that let me flip on a light when you put the stackable in you remove that shelf but you can put a combo unit or pardon me a stackable unit in here or if you don't want to adjust anything you can just put a uh, uh, combo matic in there I love this this huge window this is actually a fire escape window so it you can open that whole thing up and just get a lot of air whipping through here if you want to you can get some really nice cross ventilation you notice they don't skimp on the little things. You do have windows in your slide out. Little stuff like that. Look at that. A lot of manufacturers will cut those out. Um, the uh, you know standing glass enclosed shower here. I'm a big guy. I'm about 6'3". I can stand up in this bedroom no problem. I don't have to worry about hitting my head on anything. Um, nothing too fancy here in the bed or in the bathroom area except for the fact that they do offer you a nice linen closet, which is something that most will. Uh, most manufacturers seem to be skimping on recently, so they have nowhere to put your towels. It's kind of kind of funny. So there you have it, the 37 QB Bighorn Silverado, available at uh, Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Give us a call at 800-256-5196, or uh, check us out anytime online at haylettrv.com. H-A-Y-L-E-T-T-R-V. -T -T Thank you.